Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I will explain lipid metabolism disorders. Nowadays everybody's, everybody suffered by this type of disorder because of our unhealthy lifestyle. Right? Before going to start, uh, start please do subscribe my channel. Thank you. First of all, I will I would like to explain fatty liver. This is the one of the disorder of the lipid metabolism. Excessive concentration of the lipid is around 57%. It mostly deposit in the liver. Lipid triacylglycerol accumulate liver resulting in fatty liver. In normal liver, cuff Kupfer cells contain lipids in the form of droplet. In the fatty liver, droplets of triacylglycerol are formed in entire cytoplasm hepatic cell. It causes impairment in hepatic functions of the liver. Fatty liver is associated with fibrotic changes and cirrhosis. Increased triacylglycerol synthesis. This may be the one of the reason mobilization of free fatty acid from adipose tissue and influx into liver is much higher than the utilization leads to overproduction of triacylglycerol and their accumulation in the liver. Diabetes mellitus, starvation, alcoholism, high fat diet often cause fatty liver. Alcohol also inhibit fatty acid oxidation and promotes fat synthesis and De, uh, deposition this is the one of the reason why if the person take alcohol they get obese next is impaired synthesis of lipid lipoprotein synthesis of very low density lipoprotein activity take place in liver vldl formation requires phospholipid and amphiprotein b fatty liver caused by impaired lipoprotein synthesis due to defect in phospholipid synthesis a block in apoprotein formation, a failure in the formation and excretion of lipoprotein. Deficiency of essential fatty acid leads to a decreased formation of phospholipid. Excessive consumption of cholesterol competes with essential fatty acids and impure phospholipid senses. Certain chemicals such as carbon tetrachloride, chloroform, lead, lead, phosphorus etc they, that inhibit the protein synthesis cause fatty liver lipoprotein synthesis and their secretion require ATP decrease in availability of ATP impair lipo, lipoprotein formation deficiency of vitamin E is associated with the fatty liver these are the general overview of development of fatty liver along with responsible factors Adipose tissue in this triacylglycerol is converted into free fatty acid. But in the case of diabetes, starvation, and alcohol, it increases the fat mobilization. Or we can say that it will increase the fatty liver chances. Free fatty acid is converted into acyl CoA, and acyl CoA is oxidized or there is an oxidation of acyl coa is occur but alcohol is inhibited the oxidation of acyl coa next that acyl coa is converted into diacyl crystal diacyl crystal using choline converted into phospholipid but this synthesis of phospholipid is inhibited by choline deficiency on the same hand essential fatty acid they are form phospholipid but essential fatty acid deficiency or the cholesterol will increase uh, will inhibit the phospholipid synthesis on on the other hand triacylglycerol is converted into triacylglycerol high fat diet will increase the formation of triacylglycerol and it will ultimately lead to fatty liver this converted into nascent very low density lipoprotein which is promoted by cholesterol or this VLD is if there is a blockage of this excretion occur it will lead to 
lipoprotein protein depo- deposition in the body and on the same hand apoprotein b will promote the synthesis of nissen vldl but promomycin ethionine carbon tetraclide they inhibit the protein synthesis so ultimately they inhibit the apoprotein synthesis and the inhibition of nissen vldl is formed it will result to fatty liver these are all about the development of fatty liver and one more of the factor is lipotropic factors if you know about the lipotropic factors in detail please do comment in the comment box i would like to explain them in detail or in the layman language these are the factor which promote the fatty liver formation next these are all about the fatty liver next is atherosclerosis the thickening or hardening of arteries due to accumulation of lipids or calcium deposits in the inner arterial wall it narrows and ultimately blocks the arteries infarction is to indicate the stoppage of blood flow resulting in the death of affected tissue coronary artery the artery supplying blood to heart are the most commonly affected leading to myocardial infarction or heart attack incidence of atherosclerosis and coronary heart disease are higher in developed countries such as us and uk than developing country india and africa etc disorder related to atherosclerosis certain diseases are associated with the atherosclerosis type is mellitus hyperlipo lipoproteinemia nephrotic syndrome hypothyroidism etc factors like obesity high consumption of saturated fat excessive smoking lack of physical exercise hypertension stress etc are the causes of atherosclerosis what is the relation between the high density lipoprotein and coronary heart disease increased level of plasma high density lipoprotein uh, such as good cholesterol are associated with the low incidence of cardiovascular disorder women have high hdl and are less prone to heart disease compared to men this is attributed to estrogen in women physical exercise moderate alcohol intake unsaturated fatty acid such as vegetable and fish oil reduction in body weight all increase hdl levels and reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases next disorder is that associated with atherosclerosis that is obesity abnormal increase in body weight due to excessive fat deposition nutritional on the nutritional basis men men and women are considered as obese if they weigh due to fat exceed more than 20% or 25% of body weight it is a disorder of excessive caloric intake or eating every 7 calories of excess consumption leads to 1 gram fat deposit and increase in body weight over eating with the lack of physical exercise lead to obesity body mass index bmi clinical obesity is represented by body mass index is calculated as a weight divided by the height and this one is a formula by which we can derive we can calculate the bmi and we have to designate it in the form of uh, kilogram per meter square obesity is categorized into three grades grade 1 grade 2 and grade 3 grade 1 is overweight where bmi is 25 to 30 kg per meter square grade 2 that is clinical obesity when bmi is more than 30 kg per meter square grade 3 or morbid obesity when bmi is more than 40 kg per meter square these are associated with the complication such as type 2 diabetes coronary heart disease hypertension stroke arthritis gallbladder disease treatment of obesity assumes a lot of significance in the prevention of these diseases 
Next is genetic obesity and leptin. Strong incidence to suggest that obesity has genetic basis. A child born to two obese people has about 25% chances of being obese. One gene namely OB gene producing a protein called leptin molecular weight is 60, 16,000 Dalton is closely associated with the obesity. It is recorded as body weight regulatory hormone. It binds to specific receptor in the brain and function as a lipostat. When the fat stores in the adipose tissue are adequate, leptin, level, leptin levels are high. Signals to restrict the feeding behavior and limit fat deposition stimulate lipo lipolysis and inhibit lipogenesis. Any genetic defect in leptin or its receptor will lead to extreme overeating and massive obesity. Next is hypercholesterolemia. Increase in plasma cholesterol concentration that is if it is more than 2200 mg per dl in that case hypercholesteremia is up. First is diabetes mellitus due to increased cholesterol synthesis. Hypothyroidism decrease in HDL receptor on hepatocyte. Obstructive jaundice due to an obstruction in excretion of cholesterol through bile nephrotic syndrome increase in plasma globulin concentration as a characteristic feature of nephrotic syndrome cholesterol elevation is due to increase in plasma lipoprotein fraction in this disorder it is associated with atherosclerosis and coronary heart disease it is characterized by deposition of cholesterol esters and lipids in the and and in tema of arterial, arterial wall leading to hardening of coronary artery and cerebral blood vessels bad cholesterol and good cholesterol cholesterol perform functions like membrane structure or it's it serve as precursor for steroid hormone and bile acids or vitamin D. LDL cholesterol is bad due to its involvement in atherosclerosis and related complication. LDL may be regulated as lethally dangerous lipoprotein. HDL cholesterol is good since its high concentration counter act as theriogenesis. HDL may be considered as highly desirable lipoprotein. Control of hypercholesteremia first is consumption of PUFA that is polyunsaturated fatty acid dietary intake of polyunsaturated fatty acids reduces the plasma cholesterol level. It helps in transport of cholesterol and its excretion from the body. Oil with rich PUFA content include cottonseed oil, soybean oil, sunflower oil, corn oil, fish oil etc. Ghee and coconut oil are poor sources of PUFA. Dietary cholesterol. Cholesterol is found only in animals food, not in plant food. Avoidance of cholesterol rich food is advocated to be on the safe side. Plant sterol. Certain plant sterol and their ester reduce plasma cholesterol level. They inhibit the intestinal absorption of dietary cholesterol, dietary fiber. Fiber present in vegetable decrease the cholesterol absorption from the intestine. Avoiding high carbohydrate diet, diets rich in carbohydrate, particularly sucrose, should be avoided to control hypercholesteremia. Impact of lifestyle. Elevation in plasma cholesterol is observed in people with smoking, obesity, lack of exercise, stress high blood pressure etc. Therefore, adequate changes in the lifestyle will bring down the plasma cholesterol. Moderate alcohol consumption. Red wine is particularly beneficial due to its oxidant, sorry, antioxidant beside low alcohol content. Use of drugs such as lovastatin which inhibit HMG-CoA reductase and decrease the cholesterol synthesis are used. Clofibrate increase the activity of lipoprotein lipase. Next is 
दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द हाइपर कोलेस्ट्रीमिया नेक्स्ट इज हाइपो कोलेस्ट्रीमिया डिक्रीज इन प्लाज्मा कोलेस्ट्रॉल ऑल दो लेस कॉमन इज ऑल्सो ऑब्जर्व हाइपर थारिज्म परमीशियस एनीमिया माल अब्जॉर्बशन सिंड्रम हिमोलाइटिक जॉन्टस एटसीट्रा आर सम ऑफ द डिसऑर्डर एसोसिएटेड विद हाइपो कोलेस्ट्रीमिया this is all about the disorder of lipid metabolism if you like to watch this video in the future also or these type of uh, the lectures in the future also please do subscribe my channel and if you really like please do like this video thank you so much